All right, for the third Excel assignment, we are going to do a couple of things similar to the first two, and then do a couple additional things. So first of all, I've already um, merged and centered the title and put it at 20, size 20 font, and I've already centered and bolded the column headings. You should know how to do that, so you can go ahead and do that now. You can pause the video and then start again when you're ready. All right, now that we've got those done, what we're going to do with this flight information, we're going to do two things. Uh, we're going to filter like we did last assignment, but we're also going to um, sort. We're going to uh, sort this information. So what we want to do, we want to sort for the airline. What sort does, if I click activate any cell within the data again, I can come to the data tab. Right next to filter is sort. And what I want to do is sort by airline. And so if I come over here, click sort by, what I want to sort by is the airline. And I want to sort in alphabetical order. Values, we'll just leave that there. Usually we use that. Uh, but the order I want to be A to Z, so alphabetical. So I click OK, and it sorts them, the information, alphabetical by airline. So A, D, F, U, right there. Um, so it's sorted. Now I want to filter it also. Um, I could also sort it, I, I could have sorted it by the departure city, but those are all, they all start with S. Could have sorted it by arrival, but they all start with O. So that's why we did by airline. I could also sort it by stops and do greatest to least. And then we have all the twos at the top, the ones in the middle, and then the zero at the bottom. Or by the fair numbers. So whatever we want to sort it by. Oops. Okay. Um, now, so we've sorted it by airline, now we want to filter it. So click anywhere in the information, click the filter button like we did last time, and we want to filter um, the airlines, and we just want to see the United Airlines. So click here, deselect all, and only select United. We just want to see the United flights. Let's do the same as last time, copy that information, control C, come down to maybe row 15, control V, to paste and then unfilter and then we have that filtered information saved if we want it anytime but we also have all the other information uh, the last thing we want to do is put uh, let's try the borders so if I select everything actually in the first little table let's go to the home tab this button right here adds borders and so if I click this down arrow, there's lots of different choices for borders. We want to do all borders. So select all borders. That puts a line on the spreadsheet. If I printed this information, so this information down here, I don't have the borders on yet. If I printed that, it would just show up white in the background. It doesn't show these grid lines unless we specifically tell it to print the grid lines. So that's why we can, um, we might want to put a border around it to make it look like a table. And so I added those all borders to that top part right there. And that's it for assignment three.